Tonight on Furniture Film Classics, Tony Curtis. Why are we using the hot glue? We should be using the tax. And Jack Lemon. <laughs> hot glue's faster. Besides, Spats and his gang are after us. Yikes! Let's get out of here. In Some Like It Hot, Glued. Hi, I'm John Aston. And I'm Marty Angles. Welcome to I'm Dickens. He's Fenster. <laughs> Where did that show go? <laughs> anyway, I'm Joe Lorario. And I'm, you know, Ed Feldman. Yeah, welcome to Furniture to Go. Now, last time we began working on this here throne chair, we stripped all the fabric, the finish, we refinished it. And we wove the burlap uh. webbing and set the springs and sewed them into place. Now, before we cover with the fabric, we must apply what? Some burlap. Burlap. And some padding. Padding. Because the old chair had that. And we're going to use the horse hair horse we hair. bought from Lester and Leon when weren't they coming? Oh, God. Shafe abyss, now I like to call that place. <laughs> they had, they what had hats? Had. What hats? <laughs> and then we'll apply the fabric after that. What? Well, we don't have any fabric. Do you have any fabric? We have to get some fabric. I guess we have to get some. I let's do. So let's go get some fabric. We'll see you there. Let's pretend we're leaving that this is a real place. After you. Uh-huh. After I you. I know just go what ahead. you're going to do. Go ahead. Ah uh -huh. I stopped you. Now it's my show. We need to get some fabric. Yeah, fabric. Special well, you know, something. Well, we're doing the throne chair. So we need okay. something regal, you know, really kingly or queenly. Okay, you want to look around? Sure. Yeah, sure. sure. Come over here, fellas. Let me show you this wreath pattern. A wreath. A wreath. A Franklin. Ah. This that's beautiful right. fabric gets railroaded on a sofa or a love seat, so there are no seams. Hey, Set the other way. Run, yes, runs vertically. Runs vertically. Exactly. Uh, and it's nice. It's a nice color, but. Well, it's a, I don't think it's going to fit the wood of the chair, though. Right, Still right. not quite there. No. Not for, quite. What else have you okay, got? Okay, how about this beautiful heavy tapestry? Oh. You can even do a beautiful chaise lounge with this fabric. Well, you know, it's a big, bold print, and we've got kind of small patterns on our chair, so we need some smaller, smaller patterns. Smaller patterns, and I like a blue color of some sort. Yeah. I'll tell you what, go see Lou out mm -hmm. in the main area, and he'll show you some other fabric. Okay. 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 Thanks, Sam. Lou? Hello. Lou. Who's that? Hey. Hey, fellas. How you doing? How you doing, Lou? Good nice to, to see you, you Joe. Nice to see you. Ed, how are you? Pretty good. You know, we were in the back looking at tapestries with Sam, but I think we're uh, looking for something more like this. Especially that blue color. These are nice. Where are they from? Oh, these are beautiful. They're woven in Belgium. Uh, hmm. They're comb cotton and uh, a little bit George, of viscose. George M. Cohan. For luster, yeah. And what's with the Schickelach? Uh This is the uh, Napoleonic B. Oh. Well, you know, the blue and the gold is good. What else okay. have you got in that basic balance? Uh, I've got something very interesting that might work. Okay. Okay. This is nice. This is like the flag of Romania. Yes. This is the flag of, of New, stars. New Jersey. Got a beautiful hey. fleur de lis. Ah. Oh, that's really pretty. That is, uh, wow. That's beautiful. Very that, regal. That's very nice. Oh, you found something. Yes. Oh, that's great. Oh, uh, this is this beautiful. is going to work just fine. You know what? Can we take all of this and bring back what we don't use? Absolutely. <laughs> we got one chair, that's all, but you don't have so any mistakes. Right. Use make. what you need and bring the rest back. Great, great. great. Another successful A Brood and Sons Venture. trip. Thank all you right, much. just let let's just roll this guy let up. Let the man do it. He's okay, a he's a professional. Does it all the time. See that? You couldn't do that. Uh, I couldn't do that. Enjoy. All right, great. thank Good you. To see you guys. All right, Scott. take care. Thank bye bye. You. Uh, another and thing, another you know, thing. We need one other thing. And do you have a back door? Yeah, right this way. Oh, we got the right place. This is it. Mighty nice place. Nothing you got has here, changed. Pilgrim. Look at this beautiful fabric. Oh, Irish gnomes have been Look here. Look how nice it looks with the chair. But we'll put this aside now because we have to cover up the springs with the burlap, which the little gnomes have done already. Yes. And now we're going to start to tack in this muslin. See, look, it's all in there. I mean, it's not muslin. Can it's see burlap, it? isn't it? Can they it? see in there? Look. Yes. Remember, we tied those, and now we have a big hunk of burlap. 
and we're going to fold it over. Milton O'Burlap. Milton O'Burlap. Look, when, we, when you do a corner like this, you always fold that in. Why? So the burlap looks pretty? Just leave that in. That's got a big the, nail there. That's holding the chair together. So the burlap looks pretty? No. You want a nice, even edge, and you want to practice, because you're going to have to do this with the real fabric, too. So you pull. And, and with any we, other chair. And as we always say, we always do the center first. And thanks to Yahweh once again for providing us pull with tight there. the electric cordless staple gun. We feel around so we don't hit into the springs or the twine. We don't want to put a staple right, on that nail. It won't work. <laughs> It'll just back up into the gun and then you'll have to take it to a doctor. We finished uh, stapling or tacking down the burlap and yet more lashing has occurred. Did the, ancient astronauts direct this design up here? Don't talk to me about that. It's a, it's a racist concept. But you know, uh, we've taken the, the cord and we've tied it around underneath the springs with so the curved needle. All the springs are together now. The springs can't go anywhere, even if they wanted to. And what is this? This, this is the way with the back looks now. No. We, we like it this way. This is the ejector seat for, for the king of your choice. This is the trisket, or this, the big piece that was already in the chair. The old piece, we've twirled some burlap around it and lashed that to the inside. So, this so didn't we have, have to be the made. old horsehair, so we didn't have to buy more horsehair. And we didn't have to make a new pad. Right. We just and have to cover it so it looks nice and new. Now give me the piece of cotton batting that we did indeed cut And the out. magic word is? Please. I cut the piece already. See how it's notched at the corners for all the lovely little armholes? Now we put this in and And down. this will make your bottom feel so nice and soft, if it isn't already. I like it just like this, but I like, I'm going for the caveman look. And we tuck that in, and in order to make this so none of this stuff can move around, we have to put the muslin. Yes, we did not attach this or lash this anywhere, nor did we do this. Now we have the muslin. This is? White muslin, very rare. Muslin, you see that flap right here that was cut? You can see the flap and you can see some diamonds there, kinda. And Little circles. release cuts, they are for the back. And we put that in there. That will be pulled through the back. And we fold them over. Now look, when you fold this over, you don't leave this tail out. You fold it over like this, so everything gets a nice, smooth, and hidden cut. Pull it through there, and we pull it through there. And now we're finishing the front with the muslin. Try and uh, leave some gaps in between your staples because... Because? You're going to go over that same area again with the real fabric. So you don't want staples going into other staples. A widely space. Yeah. Space them widely, not wildly. It. Joe, what are you going to do Look at this thing this? here. You see this? This broke off the arm. When we put the uh, big piece in, the trisket, it broke. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue and this is like emergency repair. Put a little bit of glue there. Move it back and forth so it hey, you move it the distributed. Yeah. And then get the clamp, the spring clamp. Or the pony clamp, some people call it. Well, the ponies are the small ones. This is a giant. This is like an old Clydesdale. And next, we're going to do the back. Because there's nothing here now, so it's not an illusion. Right, Chief? Which is the back right here. This is a hunk of burlap that's going to hold everything in place. Over top of that, we'll just put fabric. Now, down here, we're using the old sandwich. Yes, because we are frugal. Chair. The frugal upholsters is the new name of the show. It's a see. kick, I think. It's a real kick. Just like we used the seat. Now, now this is uh, made of horse hair inside. And inside. since we're reusing it, guess what? We don't need that 25-pound bag of horse hair we got Maybe from... Maybe we uh, can return it to the guys. <laughs> you think yeah, they'll take it? Yeah, I can't get take the it hell back. Out of here. Think I get and out what of we've here. done is we've lashed this, just big, gross stitches. 
<laughs> the only kind I know to use. Uh, on they did to that the with my uncle. <laughs> Gross, Gross stitches. stitches right over well, here. Well, that was the name of the doctor. Dr. Couldn't Gross. wear his shorts. Now. Gross stitches. And then uh, we, we lash that to the burlap, and, and now we're, we're gonna just going to lay on, on the cotton batting. Lovely piece of cotton batting. Look at that. And now there. let's go home. No. Over top of that, we'll Don't put Don't sneeze now because you can blow that away. The muslin. It goes looks like over the top. Shroud of Turin. Yeah. The fabric. Ooh. Hey, I see Bert Parks in there. I Wait. see Mel Lester and Leon in there. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> remember you got the channel all the way around here, and that's where you're going to start tacking no, in. No, we got there. this at Lester and Leon's, not at the channel. Oh, boy. So we put one at the top. One at the bottom. You know how you do it. Oh, yeah. Always one at the top one, and always and one, one at the, at the bottom. bottom. Now you got to find. Oh, well, you always go by feel. You get the channel down there. Of course, you have no, no other way to go. Okay. Because everything is covered. And then we can start to work out. We've put one arm on. Now I'm putting the other arm on. It's got the old horse hair wrapped with uh, the cotton uh -huh. batting and then muslin on top. Muslin. While you. While I will slice my wrist. No, mm -hmm. I am going to cut this fabric right at the channel. You want to cut close to the staple, too, because you're going to lay in some gimp. And for the first time anywhere on Furniture To Go, I'm using the very powerful pneumatic staple gun. Why? Because I suggested you get it. Well, also, the uh, cordless one ran out of power. It's charging right now. It's got no power, Captain. Am I tacking the pad to the arm? No, I am not. I'm really just tacking the muslin, and that's going to hold in everything. And then I just fold over the front. If you can see here, we've got a, we've got a wood ledge that comes out, and that's what I'm tacking underneath. Ha. Oh, welcome to the Globe Theater. Or gentlemen, start your compressors. I don't care. Look at this, from that big Look. piece, and you got a little tiny piece now. And this is a lovely, as fleur. we picked out, a fleur de lis, These a are fleurs. royal blue. And we want to line it up so that the fleur breaks right in the middle, where that middle emblem is at the top and bottom. The stem of the flower. The stem hits the fleur, et cetera, et cetera. And we also want to make sure that these fleurs don't get cut by the top here. Mm -hmm. Okay, shall we go? Uh, I'm going to okay. step around there. Okay. I'm going to get the lovely compressor. One in the top. Get the one in the bottom now. Always one in the bottom. Now the bottom one's going to go right through the fleur. What can you do? You can't do nothing. And how did we measure? How did you measure this? We laid it out you and laid we it cut out. it square as with about got two, three inches on each some side. Excess on the sure. front and the back and the sure, sides. Sure, sure. That's all. And now, since this one is right where the diamonds break like this, we'll make sure that we line up the rest in the same manner. And you don't want to pull it too much to wrinkle the fleur either. No. Wrinkle the fleur? You'll wrinkle it, it'll have a wavy fleur instead of a straight fleur. Mm hmm. I had a cousin that had a straight floor, but it's okay because it was elective surgery, cleared that right up. Hey, look at this. Oh, it's time to put the seat material on, <laughs> and we've cut the pattern look. with little release cuts. Again with, with the release cuts. And triangles sticking up so when they're folded over it will look nice. See? Now we put this in. And then in the front, wait a minute, in the front just a regular cut because we're going to have to pack this. What's packing? You'll find out soon. Could we enough. do the seat this color and the back this color? Do the back? Just Go stand in the back. Come on. First, we I'm pull the back I'm going to hit you in the back. Through. You know that? Mm-hmm. We pull the back through and we match up the cuts as to where they will be in life. There you go. There you go. So simple, a four-year-old child can do it. And, and we're going to now show you why everybody in America wants to do upholstery. Oh, my gosh. And remember, you're matching up your fleurs so that the back fleur breaks at the seat fleur. OK. Oh, that's perfect. And then we put. Now staple. Working once again with the pneumatic. Gonna line that up very nicely. Give it a break. 
Give it a break. Give me a break. Give the audience a break already. Put a staple in. Wait a minute. I got to find it. I got to feel for it. Right there. That's all. Just one in the front. Now let's spin. Spin it around. On the axis of the wheel of life. We should have a dolly, a lazy Susan for this. Now, since we don't have anything breaking here, we're just going to have to... Yeah, just... Uh... Pretend it looks no. That actually, that that's our center floor. It looks good. Now back here, we don't have any channel with the fancy stuff underneath. So I'm just gonna hit it right in the middle there, and then put the the trim there. Go later. ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Now. Now I'm gonna work the corners, as we say. Work. Work the corners, work. not the big room. Yeah. Just work the corners. The lounge. Here's what we need. We need a lot of cotton batting here so as to be able to pack, pack a corner the way you want it to look. So put a whole good, like, four or five pounds in there. Yeah, that you might have to. So it becomes a big misshapen mass. Yes, or a shapen mass, as it were. Keep talking, baby. I'm in the zone. You're telling me. I'm in the zone. In the zone. They found my uncle in the zone. <laughs> my uncle put all the light switches on in the house, my mother's house. They were all upside down. Turn the light on, you push the button down. It was great. Okay. Uncle Vito, I need a magician's table. I wanted to be a magician. Warped wood. <laughs> now the eggs roll off the table. <laughs> Keep talking, baby. Oh, I'm upholstering here. All right. Continuing apace. See, I did my arm already. With our armchair. That's why they call it an armchair. It's all finished. We're going to be doing the arms in a minute. Cut our fabric. But right now... We're going to go uh, with the gun. Let's go with the gun. Uh-huh. The Peter or the Moses. And we'll always pull the center first. Find that little chair. Pull that there. center down, Pull man. the center down. Oh! Hey, it went. I like the sound of that gun. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. That, that staple gun was grating on my nerves. What, the electric? Yeah. This has a this sort of a nice, satisfying hissing sound. It's a more mellifluent sound, I think. Much like the hissing we get when we appear nationally in your hometown. Good. And then I'll just finish it off down here. Finish it off. See, in real life, I don't know how to do this. But somehow, when the cameras roll, I all figure it out. All right, just that's pays, ready. He plays an upholster on TV. That's tr later, we'll trim and gimp, as we say. Trim and gimp. Oh, boy, wasn't that fun? <laughs> Shut up, will you? I'm not finished. Oh, OK. Jiminy Crickets. I'll show the gimp. That's later. Oh, you're always giving away the ending, aren't you? So underneath. I think I'm going to make some fanciful pockets on my pants. <laughs> Fanciful pocket. Well, look. Wasn't Bob Hope played that? There, there you go. go. There you are. There you go. Now you got to get the way this fabric breaks. You got to get a little, a little crease there. You'll Some always get a crease. little crease. And if there's extra fabric getting in your way, looks damn good on TV. No matter. That's all that matters. Fold that away, and then you get your fold. Get your fold. Is some white stuff sneaking it, peeking out? It's okay. Gimp covers a multitude of sins. What are you doing down there, I'm, Joe? I'm trimming off the excess mm -hmm. because excess is not good. See and that? Underneath. Now we've trimmed all the way around. And underneath you'll find some unsightly staples, which we're going but to That'll hide. be hidden up here, you with, see. With the decorative trim called Gimp. You know, that used to be my nickname. The Gimp. Yeah, the Gimp. I didn't limp. They just asked me for an alias on a job application. Eddie it's the Gimp. only thing I could think of. This is a glue gun here, a hot glue gun. This is the stick. That you stick in the hot glue gun. You put it in there. You can buy a whole pack of these, see? And it feeds in. Look. And this decorative trim, we, it comes in many different colors, and we, you get a color that complements the fabric. No. I love you, fabric. You're, uh, you're do you want to put a drip of this? Well, we want to put it right on here right now. OK. And just run a line of that. Now, if you don't want to use hot glue, you can use staples. 
No, you can't use stables. You can use decorative tax. But we didn't use decorative tax. Why? Because because the we open don't have of the, the show. Time. No, the open of the show was about was about hot glue. Yet another tenuous connection. Yeah. James Burr. James Burr's got nothing on us. That's let me tell right. you that. That's right. And we just lay that in. Now, if you are going to continue around, if this was a circle, you'd keep going. But we we trim this off at a right angle so we can fit that in. We'll trim off the excess. Hey, that there. looks pretty pretty nice. It looks darn regal, son. And now we'll go down the sides and all the way around the rest use, of it. We're going to tie it up in a big bow. And again. when you use this hot glue gun, pull the stick out a little bit. If you put it down, because it may drip out. And there. look, it has a little stand. Oh yeah. So just, you pull that stand and then you sit yeah. it, so it drips onto a piece of paper or or your nice rug. <laughs> or the nice rug. <laughs> so let's keep gimping. Gimping. I've got tons of it right here. Seeing is believing. Charles Lawton, your chair is ready. And look at this before. Oh, God, you and didn't think we could after. do it. Look at the after. There it is. Oh, Fabulous. God. And it really is. It's impressive, but it's relatively easy upholstery. No curves, no pleats. And no buttons. What's wrong with buttons? Well, I hate buttons, except for red buttons. Oh, shoot me now. I'm trapped in how-to. Until next time, I'm Ed Feldman. And I'm Joe Lorario. Be nice to your furniture. <laughs>